Hey guys, so this is going to be a little SIG vlog slash segment I'm entitling, entitling hashtag New Englander problems, or actually I should do hashtag Northerner problems, because this is just funny shit that only happens when you live where there's cold weather. Nine out of every ten customers that comes into your place of business mentions something along the lines of, need to talk to your salt guy, or it's a bit slick out there, eh? Hashtag northerner problems. Uh, <laughs> waking up 45 minutes earlier than usual so you can clean off your car and start it. Hashtag northerner problems. There's just so many. Buying 20 packs of tissue boxes in bulk. Hashtag northerner problems. <laughs> or issues with, I feel like I've said something different for every hashtag. <laughs> Whatever. But legit, like, there's just so many things that all of you lucky sons of bitches that live in warm weather states, like, don't think about. Um, where the hell am I going to park my car during this storm? Don't need it getting taken out by the plow or a $250 ticket. Hashtag New Englander problems or Northerner issues, whatever the fuck I've been calling it. Legit, it's just like thing after thing after thing after thing. We've gotten, so norm, normally we get like, eh, a wood delivery every week or so. It's winter. The wood guy is earning so much overtime. There's a few perks. Like, if you have a winter job, you're golden. That's when you make your money. But then it's slow as shit the rest of the year. So it's like, eh. Oh, you guys should see the state of my car. Uh, I've gotten one car wash this winter because it was free at work to test the car wash. We're supposed to do a test, I think it's like every three days or something like that. So somebody gets a free car wash every like three or four days at my work, which is pretty dope. But getting your car washed every few days, hashtag northerner problems. Dude, the salt will corrode the shit out of your car. Plus, I live on the beach, hashtag coastal problems. You live on a coast, you get your car washed every fucking week. Doesn't matter how old you are, like, I can't afford to get my car washed every week, but I do it because I can't afford to buy a new car, even more. Oh, man. I gotta find, here's something that's like a personal problem. This, my nose ring, is the same one that I got it pierced with. Uh, the woman was wicked awesome, because I hate needles, I was wicked nervous and wicked scared, and she made me feel, like, really good about it. Um, but she twisted the ball on so tight. I think it might have, like, stripped it. I don't know. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to try and save it with, like, some pliers. But metal nose ring. My nose gets so cold so quickly whenever I step outside. And I personally don't have the option of switching to a plastic nose ring. Um, but yeah, that's, like, a northerner problem. If you have piercings... You're basically either have to freeze your extremities, nose, ears, whatever, or deal with wearing plastic jewelry for, like, all of winter. Fuck. This is, like, a rant slash sig vlog slash random segment. Not being able to tell when your drag ends and your breath begins. Hashtag northerner problems. <laughs> no, it's not that cold tonight. And my car, I've been starting it fairly frequently, so it's still warm. But yeah, I burn a lot more gas, too, because I start my car because it's fucking freezing. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot that goes into be being a northerner. But... Honestly, it's worth it. I absolutely despise the cold. I keep my house at like 74 degrees year round. I might turn it down to 72 in the summer. Um, but legit, like, I never, it never drops below 70 in my house. Ever. Ever, ever. I'm always cold. Um, 
and I still, the people up here are just so much more welcoming, or they just kind of keep to themselves, either or, but they don't go out of their way to be rude to you just because, like, you're different or anything, like, people are wicked accepting, really cool, really laid back, like, everybody thinks, like, oh, Northern Lifestyle is just hustle and bustle, go, 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 24-7, it's really not how it is. I love to fish. We have a huge fish and gaming, like, area up here, you know? Just sitting around waiting, relaxing, going over your thoughts and stuff. Maybe listening to some good tunes for fishing. Hunting, you can't really do that, but, you know, it's, it's peaceful. A lot of people think, you know, oh, the north, they have a bunch of these big hustle and but bustle cities, and it's not... I live in a very small town anyways. I did grow up in um, one of our six major cities. Um, but even then, I'm pretty sure my hometown has a population of like 100, maybe, maybe 125,000 people. And it's not a huge area. It's definitely pretty crammed together. Um, but there's still like a lot of parks there's even, like, mountain bike ranges and hiking trails, like, in my actual hometown, which is a city. Oh, hey, Popo. Oh, something happened. I wonder if somebody went off the road. It's really icy out. It's been icy the last couple nights. We got a snowstorm. And then it's been warm. It's been, like, in the 50s the last couple days. So, uh, <clears throat> the snow's been melting and it just leaves all this water and it turns to ice at night. I didn't see the cop turn in there so I can't tell if that's another person or if these cops are like trying to do a sting. That's crazy, you never hear about that shit here. Although, so I did find out from a customer like last month, the Goodwill got held, like got robbed at gunpoint fucking goodwill their shit like i think the most expensive item in the entire store is twenty dollars people like if you're gonna rob something why would you rob a goodwill <laughs> what but like that's the biggest news we've had other than like overdoses because that's just super prevalent in like new england in general um and like some car crashes because of the storms but like we don't have like robberies we don't have home invasions we don't have, like, shootings or stabbings. We have bar fights because we have a lot of bars and we're a tourist area. But, like, that's about it. We have bar fights. <laughs> like, I know this is, it was, it was another cop. They're pulling up next to each other to chit-chat. Well, I gotta get in and fucks with the coffee. I don't know who's been brewing the coffee at my work, but it is gross. Like, there are so many grinds and, like... It's, it's gross. Um, I need to, like, talk to my manager and be like, hey, can, I, I'm a coffee fanatic. Can I do, like, a seminar? <laughs> can I do, like, a little, can we have, like, a team meeting? It'll only take, like, ten minutes. I just want to explain the right way to clean these machines and also brew coffee. Like, I don't know what they're doing. It's like, I swear, it's like these people are not using a coffee filter. It's like, there's that many grinds. It's like, they're just dumping bags of coffee into this water and being like, yep, that's how you make coffee. Um, <laughs> it's so gross. It's so gross. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go deal with that. Um, but it's just like, I've literally had, literally, I said nine out of 10 customers at your place of business. Every single customer has said something about the ice tonight. So I was like, dude, hashtag New Hampshire problems. There's a lot of them. I'll, I'm sure I'll think of more like as soon as I end this, but I don't have a ton of recording space as you guys so I'll catch you guys later. Thanks so much for uh, watching. If you've made it this far, um, pretty please hit that subscribe button. I need 100 subscribers for a custom URL. 